Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of this epic haul. I had no idea that I had so much stuff and I had to break this video into two parts. So um, I didn't have like a five hour long video. How fun would that be? Um, this is part two, like I said, so the first part has been posted already. You can go back and you can find that one. Um, I had two Ikea bags like stuffed full of things and I actually forgot what's in this one. So this is gonna be a surprise for the both of us. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get into it. This one is pretty full and uh, I don't even remember. How do I not remember what's in here? Let's go, let's do this. Um, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I go to the bins where I pay by the pound and I find things to sell online for profit it's what I do. It's so fun. And I make these videos to show you what I pick up, what is selling consistently for me, what was too pretty for me to leave behind. <laughs> um, yeah. Sometimes I take you along with me to thrift. Sometimes I just do haul videos like this. Um, I plan on doing more videos this coming fall. My daughter will be going back to school. So I will have a little bit more free time to kind of play around and make some new videos and bring some new content. So I'm excited about that. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to join in on this fun. <laughs> so let's get going. Um, most of this I believe is from the outlet. I will specify if it is from the regular Goodwill or not. This is kind of like a cumulative haul. I want to say this is two trips to the bins and one trip to a regular Goodwill. So I will let you guys know. All right, first up, we have Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Not necessarily a brand that I do pick up all the time, but I thought this was very cute and the comps were promising. It is kind of like a quilted sweater cardigan with a very thick and funky kind of shawl um, neckline to it. This is a, I believe a medium, small slash medium very soft it is a long line so it does go pretty far down very cute very cute stock photos and they were selling consistently so i'm hoping that that one does well this fall um i have mine up for 49.99 i thought that was super high i was not expecting to list it for that much when i found it um but based off of comps and the ones that are listed now mine is kind of like right in the middle some have been posted for like 70 and some were posted for like 25 30 we will see they were selling in that range as well so we will see i say that way too much <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> next is comfy usa this is a great brand i always pick it up when i find it um specifically at the the outlet but i will pick it up if it's a good price at the regular goodwill it's a size large this one sold for 30 dollars in i want to say like three days so if it's priced right it's going to move quickly i have a few that i priced way too high and they sat for quite a while um so once i lowered the price they sold so just be aware of that it is a kind of lagging look brand this is a crinkle it's supposed to have that like crinkle texture to it it has mother of pearl buttons it is a long like tunic button-up blouse so cute i have to get that one shipped out today next is a nirvana jean jacket what size medium men's medium it has a couple patches on it and these were selling for there weren't many listed but the sell through rate i want to say was close to 100. mine does have a few spots that i didn't notice until i got home it looks like paint so there's a spot there or maybe it's bleach and a spot on the sleeve so mine is i think listed at 35 but some of these were selling in the 50 dollar range so definitely one to keep an eye out for um when i saw that i just thought maybe it was a target brand which it may be i don't know for sure um but from what i was gathering it it has the nirvana tag so i think it is actually like 
the Nirvana brand, maybe from like a merch website sort of thing. This is a Talbot, not a brand I normally pick up, but this is a down puffer jacket. It is 80% down and it has like a quilted, really cute look to it. It is a boxy fit and it is a women's medium. This is still on their website, which is a good sign. So I'm hoping that it sells and considering it is down. I have mine up for 40, I wanna say. Um, this one sold as well on Poshmark. It's Maeve by Anthropology. A newer tag, it sold for 20. And it's just a shimmery little blouse. So cute with the button back. What did I say the size? I don't think I did. It is a 20W, so a great size and really cute. It sold for, I think, 20, it may be 18 to 20. Next is a North Face puffer jacket. It is the 550 series, I wanna say, yes. So it is kids and it is a kids XL, I believe, a large, but it is reversible. So it has the hound's tooth print on the inside. The only thing, I looked this over so well at the outlet and somehow I missed that it has a bunch of scratches. You can't see it super well, but it does have some snags to the front. Um, no holes or anything, but I won't get much for this. Maybe 30, 25, 30 for that. The, uh, the women's and men's puffer jackets definitely do a lot better, but the kids I've found North Face or, um, I mean, Patagonia does better for kids, but North Face I've noticed doesn't do super well. Next is a Free People, super cute embroidered um, plaid button up. It is a tunic style, very cute. It is a large too, so that's a great size. I've actually sold this a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> and um, no, I actually bought this retail arbitrage um, five, six years ago at TJ Maxx and I had it forever. I couldn't get anyone to buy it. I had priced it super high and I finally had to lower it and it sold, but I remember it selling and I was like, oh my gosh, thank God. Cause I never did retail arbitrage. Um, maybe I'll get into that again someday, but I was not very good at it. So I paid probably $20 for this at TJ Maxx way back in the day. Um, so it was great to find it for a dollar at the bins. <laughs> um, that one I think I have up for $29.99. Next is a The Sack Knit Purse. I don't know why I got this, honestly. I thought it was cute. It's in really great condition. It's really clean, but the sell-through rate is not the best. There are a lot listed, but not a lot sold, which is what sell-through rate is. Um, so we'll see how that does. I have it priced very low just to get it out of here. Um, and it's pretty heavy, so I probably paid maybe three to four dollars for it at the outlet. So, at the outlet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that may have been a bad buy. Next is a what is this? Lost the brand Lost. This was a line that they did with what's his name? Chris Ward. <laughs> They are a pair of board shorts straight from the 2000s. Here's the guy, I'm guessing. Um, very, very Y2K. That's why I bought these. These ones are faded, so I won't get as much for them. But certain styles of his from this Lost collab that they did do really, really well. So definitely run comps on those if you come across it. This stuff is all so random. I forgot what was in here. Next is a Max Mara, like a pebbled leather glasses case. It's so cute. I will probably only get 10 bucks for this, but I thought I would pick it up. If it doesn't sell, I will end up using it for myself. Next is an American Eagle Graphic Tee Sublime. This one just sold today on Poshmark for $10. Not a ton, but I had it listed for 15 and I accepted an offer of 10. Glad to see that go to somebody. 
I used to love Sublime back in the day. That was my jam. And I still do like them, but I will I'm I won't sit and listen to them. I've I've come to that realization this summer. I tried to put them on. I really love reggae music. I love it, especially in the summertime. It's it makes me happy. I love Bob Marley. I love Revolution. I love reggae. And then I put on Sublime and I was like, I can't. I just can't get into it like I used to. But still a great still a great band. I almost said brand. Um, anyway, that's just a little bit about me. Here's <laughs> Intimately Free People. This is a super cute, oh my gosh, what's the name of this dress? It's their, it's a super popular style of theirs. Trapeze dress, I want to say. I may be wrong. Um, this one is a small. I have this one up for 20, not expecting much, but I have never seen this kind of print or colorway. So I'm excited to see that one go and be worn and loved. <laughs> I think I'm getting hungry and like delirious or something. Next is Soma. Really great brand. I They do have really great intimate pieces and I will always pick up their bras. Oops, I just flipped that inside out. If I find them at the bins, this one is in really great condition. No staining at the pits. You always want to look at that. No staining on the underwire. Just, just, really inspect the bras. That's what I do. I will not pick them up if they have any sort of wear because it gives me the ick. Even though I know people will buy them, it's okay. But for me, I like them to be really basically brand new. <laughs> this one I have up for 20 and it is a 36C. It is the Unbelievable Lift Perfect Coverage. Those sell pretty consistently for me. And... They barely cost a thing at the bins. This is a brand I got that I shouldn't have got. I did buy this at the regular Goodwill, um, Lauren Vidal, which is a great designer. And she does make some really great pieces, but the selfie ray was just not there. And they were all over the place. I was at the beach, we went to Goodwill and I had zero service, so I couldn't look anything up. I I just kind of off of a whim, a hunch, I was like, this looks nice because the tag was tacked on and I think I paid $6.99 for this. Oh, and then it says, oh my gosh, where is it? Made in Paris, right? Maybe. Oh, France. France. Um, so just based off of this is why I picked it up. But anyways, <laughs> the selfie rate is not there. Some of her stuff does sell really well, but I don't know how this is gonna do. I think I have mine up for $39.99 just to see if anybody makes an offer. So we, I'm, I'm gonna say it again, we will see, we shall see. Um, next is Fresh Produce. I love this brand. It's a large, 100% cotton. This is a maxi dress, just a floral, pretty maxi dress kind of out of season, almost out of season. So we will see how it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to make a shirt or something just to make fun of myself. This, <laughs> the selfie rate is actually pretty good on this brand. Um, I don't expect much for it. So I will always pick it up at the bins. I will never pay up for it, but the selfie rate is there and I do like picking up that brand. It has a following. Um, Next is Free People. This guy's barely hanging on there. <laughs> Size small. This is a super cute cropped bell sleeve sweater. It is a newer style, I believe. And I have this up for 25. Oh no, it's not new. JK. Um, it's, re it's really cute though. And the stock photo is great. What is that mark on there? I'm gonna see. I can see things sometimes on this camera that I can't see with my own eyeballs. So I'm gonna have to inspect that, but that is up for 25. I know Free People does not sell the best, but I do know that there are some pieces that do, and I will always, always look them up. That one, the selfie rate was fairly good. Um, and with it gonna be fall, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> with it coming to be fall, I thought it would be a great thing to pick up. Um, 
yeah, there are a few free people items that are bolos. So I always look things up. I've sold a cardigan for like $150 and I've sold a pair of bell bottom jeans for like 150 75 I think so there are free people items that will sell and that people are looking for so don't necessarily see it and give it the you know toss it away uh, it's definitely worth looking up in my opinion next is outdoor voices these sold this weekend as well for 30 I picked these up at a regular goodwill for 6.99 they are just a pair of joggers really cute I had them posted for $39.99 and somebody offered $29 and I accepted. So I need to get those ones out today. Next is a super cute. If I was on Depop, this would be great for Depop, I think, but I'm not. It's just a bustier or a corset. I, I don't know for sure yet. I need to do some research or maybe it's two in one, right? Because this is a corset right down here. And then this is the bustier. Maybe, I don't know, but this is Victoria's Secret. It's a 34D and, oh my gosh, was the name on here? Maybe it wasn't. No, I'm imagining. Um, but yeah, a very, very pretty like ruby red. I really love that it has this lace detail on the back and it has the hook and loop all the way down the back. Very, very pretty. Some of these, some, okay, vintage Victoria's Secret corsets or bustiers go for a ton. So always look them up. Um, this one is not vintage, so it won't go for that price mark, but I have mine up for 50 because some of the styles do sell for that amount. Um, but I didn't see that one specifically, so we will see. <sighs> Let's hope that it sells for that amount. I'm hoping. Nick and Nora is the next item. This is a new tag. Cute little robe. It has a little poodle print on it. Poodles in France. It is a small medium. New tag. This was at the bins and I have it up for I think 50, maybe 60. Nick and Nora is a great brand to be on the lookout for. I had no idea that some of their pajamas sell for over a hundred dollars. So <laughs> always look up Nick and Nora whenever you come across it. If it's a robe, if it's a set, look it up. There were sets that were on Gilmore Girls, I guess. It's like a peanut, Mr. Peanut pajama set. Those ones were going for like two hundred dollars, three hundred. I couldn't believe it. So from now on, I'm gonna look up every single Nick and Nora that I find. And I've passed by them so many times without checking um, comps on them. This is a cute little buckle down seat belt buckle. I love these things. They just remind me of high school and Hot Topic. <laughs> this one's Little Mermaid. I'm not expecting much for this, maybe 15. I did sell a My Little Pony one of these um, for I think 30. So some of them do better than the others. So check your comps. Next is a something I'm going to try out. It's Black Mountain Outdoor. It is a fleece. I know you've seen these before. They're like the giant fleece zip up sweaters. It's a size large. It's so cozy. It has mousse on it. Perfect for camping. Perfect for winter time. Nice and cozy. These can sell for really good money. Some of them were selling in the, you know, $50 range. That's what I have mine priced at. I'm hoping to get that amount, um, but it may be more in the $30, $40 range. Selfie rate was pretty good on that too. Next is Lulu's, which, where's the tag? I don't love picking up, but this one I thought was very cute. It is a polka dot, kind of like a peach polka dot midi dress. And it's a size medium, I want to say. Yeah. Well, I am cracking myself up. We're going to see how this does. It's been a while since I bought Lulu's. It has sat for me in the past. 
the maxi dresses, midi dresses do much better. This is a more, I want to say like party cocktail going out with your girlfriend style. So I'm going to try it. I have normally bought their um, more uh, like dancey dresses, prom dresses, homecoming dresses, um, formal, that's the word, formal dresses. <laughs> I'm excited for that. And I think it will sell between 30 and 40. <laughs> um, next is a very cool vintage piece. I kind of want to keep it. It's a Pike Place Market it's a crew neck sweater on a Hanes tag. Look at that. It's so cute. I might wear it a couple times. <laughs> um, what's the year? I think it has the year. 87. And it even says Seattle on there. I think that's super cool. Um, my husband was just telling me that Vancouver, where I live, was approved for a Pike Place Market down on the Columbia, like similar to the Pike Place Market, um, which will be crazy. It will be really, really fun to have that here where we live. It will also bring so much traffic. So, I mean, there's already so much over here, but it will bring more, you know, the chaos of Pike's Place. This is a Bucky's t-shirt. <laughs> I thought I would give this a go. I will probably only get 10 bucks for that, but it was so cute. I couldn't leave it behind. Next is a Coldwater Creek, which I do not pick up, but it was new a tag. And what's the size? Medium. It is a adorable open front cardigan sweater with all the fall colors, orange, um, like a maroon tan. It's beautiful. Um, it is longer, so it's more of a duster style. It's a heavy knit. It's very cozy, perfect for fall. I have that one up for 30. Sell through rate on Coldwater Creek is no good. So, um, I'm hoping that by pricing it low, it will sell. Um, fingers crossed for that. Next is Tempo Paris, which is a the selfie rate is pretty good from what i remember i don't think it was at 100 but the pieces that were selling were selling in the 30 to 40 dollar range it is oh my gosh what is it linen or cotton let me see 100 percent cotton made in italy it's just like a gauzy sheer this one has like a watercolor print to it can't really tell on camera Maybe a little bit. I have mine up for 35, I believe, or 40. Um, I did find Lululemon. This is like older style Lululemon. <laughs> Who remembers these? I used to get so excited to find these and they would flip for like 50 bucks. <laughs> Not so much anymore. This one's a size four. It is listed or selling in the 30 to 40 dollar range i think i have mine at 40 but i am expecting 25 to 30 for this i think it would be great for some sort of like uh college wear i don't know what teams have that color like a navy blue and a green i mean mariners baseball i know <laughs> who else i have no idea but baseball's like almost over right so Sports. Um, next is Prana, a wise donkey. This is just a graphic t-shirt, men's, what size? XL, I got this because it's in really great condition. Lightly worn and I can probably get about 15 for it. These are just so amazing. This is a vintage Mossimo. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Would you look at it? And they're like Capri Toi, is that right? I don't know, Toi print pants. I love them so much. So Y2K, so 2000s. I have mine up for 40. I priced high, I put all the keywords and I'm hoping, I just want somebody to wear these so bad because they are amazing. Ugh. 
Um, so I'm hoping somebody buys those quick. <laughs> Next is a brand called Lazy One. They are just a pajama loungewear line. They're new with tag, which is why I bought these. They are a size large or extra large and they have little turtles all over them. How cute is that? And it has a foam pocket right here. Brand new, so cozy, so cute. And they should go for 15 to 20. Next are a pair of Sundance. These are the Moto Skinny that I could find from my research. That's what they're called. They're like an army green kind of cropped ankle pant. Size four, they are cotton blend. I'm not expecting much for these, maybe 20, but I love picking up Sundance. It's one of my faves. This was something I'm gonna try. I know that some vintage baby blankets can do really well, and I thought I would just try, pick this up. It has no brand, it's unbranded, but I'm hoping that, you know, maybe somebody wants to recreate a picture from when they were a kid or maybe they had this blanket and they want their kid to have it that sort of thing um i think i have it up for 20 so this is all i've never picked any baby blankets up before i just kind of wanted to try it and see how it did this is a long haul holy moly um i have a few more <laughs> items left this is Bonobos, which is a brand I will always pick up at the bins. It sells very consistently for me. Not for much, maybe 15 to 20 for this flannel, but it does sell quickly. Here's another Comfy USA. This is another tag of theirs. And this is just a geometric kind of tunic top. It has the like anti-wrinkle fabric. What is that fabric, rayon? I'm not sure, but it's a size small and I have this one up for 30. Next is a she fit bra. I love finding these at the bins. I find them often, thankfully. And um, yeah, I love to sell them. They sell between like 25, some of them up to 40, but this one is in great condition. And I actually just sold this this weekend. So I need to package this guy up too. That one was listed for like two days and it sold for full asking price of, oh my gosh, what was it? I think $39.99. So it's a brand I will always pick up, um, you know, at the bins and if I can get them for a good price. This is a pair of Free People, super cute pinstripe capri, not capri, just cropped ankle trouser. So cute, they are an extra small. Um, I may be sitting on them for a while, but they're so cute and I have them up for 20. Next is a Columbia. I don't normally pick up Columbia, but I do love these pull-on sports for women. They have been doing really well for me and this one's a size large. It has the ruching tie on the side. And I always throw in keywords like golf, um, pickleball, or tennis. And I have it up for, I think, $19.99. We'll see. Okay, this is a little Mickey Mouse lounge fly pouch. I got this at the bins and I have it up for, I think, $14.99. It has a few little scuffs right there, but I couldn't leave it behind. Me and Disney, man, I don't know. Lastly is a bolo, so that's cool. Okay, this I picked up at the regular Goodwill. I had never seen it before, but I decided to look it up and I'm glad I did. Dressori, Dressori. It's a large, and it is a women's blouse. I'm guessing this is a boutique brand, but I have mine up for 60 and it has like three watchers, I think, two or three watchers. So. This brand does sell at that higher mark, I would say. Um, it's a silk rayon blend and they were selling pretty consistently for that 40 to $50 range. So I'm glad I picked that up. I picked it up for $6.99 at the regular Goodwill and we will see how, how it does. <laughs> 
like I have something on my eye. Anyways, that is it. That's all she wrote. I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking around, seeing what I find, what I pick up, and what is selling for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!